we've actually surveyed for uh, two years now. Now, um, you know, those of us who are in software know that you know, we have uh, you know, questions about the degree to which we want to have backward compatibility. Well, uh, we asked a certain set of questions in 2017. We asked a slightly different set of questions, so they're not perfectly comparable. But in 2017, we did identify, uh, you know, out of thousands of executives that we surveyed, roughly 20% of companies uh, had either deployed AI at scale or in a core business process. Now, we didn't ask exactly the same questions this year, but we think they're roughly comparable. And that said, about 50% of companies now, or 50% of our respondents, say that their companies have deployed AI and embedded it in standard operating processes within at least one business unit or function. So not exactly the same question, but you know, that 20 and 50% are roughly comparable. And the top line is definitely comparable, right? In terms of anyone who's uh, done anything, including piloting, going from 60 to, to um, uh, 61 to 77%. So we are seeing what we view as accelerating adoption of this technology. And in fact, if you try to, if, if you try, we did try, we asked where have you actually deployed these technologies? And we, we've cut it you know, by industry sector, we've cut it by use cases, we have a lot of detailed data, but I'm gonna share just one finding here. Uh, fortunately, it looks like that corporate executives are deploying AI where, there's the, where the most value can be found. So again, if you think, again, it, it, uh, the, the vertical lines are uh, different functions within the enterprise. Look, it, you know, where has service ops, where has AI been deployed most in service ops? In the telecom sector, that makes sense. There are a lot of service ops questions in, in, in telecom. In product development, high tech is the, the sector which leads there. That makes sense because by the way, when we talked about product development, that included embedding AI into products and services. So that, that's primarily what did there as opposed to AI taking the place of, uh, of engineers. Marketing, sales, and retail, that makes perfect sense as well. Same with supply chain. And then, you know, manufacturing being, um, you know, one of the places where AI has been adopted in automotive and assembly also makes sense. And then also risk in financial services. So in some ways, there's a tremendously good story about the way that AI has been adopted already, even in, uh, I'll describe it as short history, although we all know that AI is, you know, over uh, half a century old. Uh, but in terms of this recent wave of AI, we do see it, you know, the acceleration and adoption, and secondly, primarily being uh, adopted in places where it can drive the most value, at least at the level of industry sectors.